Hello guys. Uh, today we will discuss about uh, multiple choice questions on eigenvalues and uh, eigenvectors. Uh, if you go through my previous videos, we have discussed some uh, theory about uh, the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So most of the questions are covered from that material and uh, these questions are from the point of view of NEET examination or uh, the GATE examination or in some universities uh, for MSc entrance, uh, they ask such kind of questions. So let us begin uh, with the question. Uh, this is first question and uh, this question says that suppose we have a square matrix of order 4 whose eigenvalues are 1, minus 1, 2 and minus 2. Then the value of the determinant of the matrix which is given by a square plus 3a plus 2a inverse is either out of these four options we have to choose the correct answer so uh, what is given to us we have a square matrix a of order 4 and its eigenvalues are given as 1 minus 1 2 and minus 2 matrix B is given as a square plus 3a plus 2a inverse. We have to find the determinant of this matrix. So before attempting uh, this question, just let me recall you some properties of eigenvalues so these are some properties of eigenvalues which states that if suppose we have a square matrix A of order N and lambda is an eigenvalue of the matrix A, then the matrix A to the power M has eigenvalue lambda to the power M. Matrix A inverse has eigenvalue 1 upon lambda. Matrix A plus K where K is any scalar has eigenvalue lambda plus K. Uh, the next property is the determinant of the matrix is product of eigenvalues and trace of the matrix A is same as the sum of eigenvalues. So here we will use uh, V because matrix is given, eigenvalues are given. So we have to find its determinant. So we will use this property for calculating the determinant of matrix B. But we should know what are the eigenvalues for matrix B. So we will use uh, these properties of eigenvalues. Uh, you can see uh, this video for the detail of uh, these uh, properties. So from this property, we can say that matrix A square will have eigenvalue as lambda square. From this property, we can say that matrix A inverse has eigenvalue lambda to the power minus 1. So we will use this property for finding or for evaluating or even we will use the uh, this property uh, for calculating the eigenvalues of B. So eigenvalues for B will be corresponding to A square, we will have lambda square, corresponding to A, this is lambda and corresponding to A inverse, we will have lambda inverse. Because we have four eigenvalues, so we can put suffix J we are j running from 1 to 4. So these, this equation will give you the eigenvalues of matrix B. So corresponding to one eigenvalue, matrix B will have eigenvalue as 1 square plus 3 into 1. So this will be 1 plus 3 plus 2 means this is 6. 
corresponding to minus 1 minus 1 is square minus 1 minus 1 to the power minus 1 so just uh, simplify this calculation it will be 1 minus 3 minus 2 which is minus 4 corresponding to eigenvalue 2 it will be 2 is square so replace lambda by 2 in this equation we will get 4 plus 6 plus 1 it's 11 and corresponding to eigenvalue minus 2 this minus 2 is square so the eigenvalues of b are 6 minus 4 11 and minus 3 so eigenvalues of these are 6 minus 4 11 and minus 3 so determinant of b is what product of eigenvalues do the multiplication of these eigenvalues you will get 792 that means for this question the correct answer is 792 let's move to the next question suppose we have a square matrix of order 3 having eigenvalues as 1 2 and minus 1 then the value of the trace of the matrix b is given by we have these four options we have to choose the correct answer so again uh, we will use the properties of eigenvalues uh, we will use these eigenvalues again so first we will calculate so first we will calculate the eigenvalues of matrix b and then we will use this property for finding the trace of the matrix we have matrix a whose eigenvalues are 1 2 and minus 1 we have matrix b which is given by a is square plus a minus a to the power a inverse so corresponding to a is square eigenvalue is lambda is square corresponding to a eigenvalue is lambda and corresponding to a inverse eigenvalue will be lambda to the power minus 1 so this equation will gives you the eigenvalues of the matrix b now corresponding to one eigenvalue it is 1 is square plus 1 minus 1 to 1 upon 1 means 1 so we will have one eigenvalue corresponding to eigenvalue 2 in this equation put lambda is equal to 2 we will get 2 is square plus 2 minus 2 to the power minus 1 so this is 6 minus 1 upon 2 it will be 11 upon 2 and corresponding to minus 1 so corresponding to this eigenvalue use this equation so minus 1 square is 1 minus 1 so this will be 1 so eigenvalues of matrix B are 1 11 upon 2 and 1 we have to find we have to find the trace of matrix b which is what sum of eigenvalues eigenvalues are 1 11 upon 2 1 so trace of b is 15 upon 2 that means the correct answer is 15 upon 2 let's move to the next question if one of the eigenvalues of a matrix A of order n is 0, so you have a matrix A of order n and 0 is one of the eigenvalue. Out of these four options, one option is correct. So we know that determinant of A is what is product of eigenvalues 
because zero is one of the eigen value so in the product suppose other eigen values are lambda 1 lambda 2 and so on into lambda n so when you multiply zero for uh, with any number you will get zero that means determinant of that matrix will be zero so option c is correct so you see here that uh, with the help of properties of eigenvalues we can solve multiple choice questions very easily however if you are not aware of these eigenvalues then these questions seems to be very difficult so i hope that uh, this video helps you to understand how to solve or how to tackle uh, this kind of questions in the examination so uh, if you uh, like this video so please share it and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, thank you so much.